this is your own's Flash Player, you probably know that you can embed a QuickTime H.264 movie into a Flash Player so that Windows machines that don't have QuickTime installed can view them. So now you're into the high 90s instead of the 60, 70, 80 percent with QuickTime, depending on who your audience is. So we click Flash Player and wow, look at this. This is so cool. We have supported many uh, more features of this player. One of them is skins. And if you have clients uh, that, you know, are, are more corporate looking or more crazy looking or, you know, whatever the brand, we have now a variety of skins that you can use. And once you choose a skin, you click one and uh, let's just select one. And it writes the code, puts everything in there. Everything's great. We choose a destination and say upload page. Okay. Everything's done. Okay. And bam. So there is the player. We click it. There's our movie. And it's just that easy. And some of these skins you'll notice say use on pages with white background. Let's select this one and just check it out. And that's because there's a little bit of white outside the player and it's just going to work better on a white background. So let's actually click our page background color and set it to white. And upload page again. We'll just keep overriding with the same name, test.html. And now we have this player. Isn't that cool? Look at that. It's like a little uh, hand-drawn playhead. Anyway, I hope that you're flipping out just as much as I am right now because this is just so great to be able to customize the look of your player this easily. So there's some players. We also are supporting poster image, which means you can upload a poster image and use that. Instead of having a black screen with a triangle, you can choose a frame from your movie. And we're also supporting uh, watermarking. So if you have a transparent ping or GIF graphic that you've uploaded, you can select that one and it will write all the code for you so that you're movie will have a watermark or a poster image. So that is your owns player. Now, if you are using your owns player on a commercial site, which is defined as, uh, you know, not a personal site or a site with Google ads, you should uh, purchase a license. We've made it really easy for you. It, right down at the bottom of this page, there's a little gray block. You click this, it takes you right to the page. The prices are very reasonable, whether you're doing websites for clients or just yourself. Purchase a license for commercial use. And this is true for the player, and it's also true for the skins. So if you are going to use some of these custom skins, you can buy a license for one or all. And we're going to go back now, and just quickly, we've, we've looked at Shadowbox before, but let's just click it, and let's just take a look at it. Shadowbox is also a licensed player. We've got the little gray box here that'll take you right to the website, make it easy. And it's great to support these people, these geniuses that write this code. And here, kind of at the bottom of this page, there is a purchase a license button, or you can give a tip if you're using it on a personal site. Anyway, so what is Shadowbox? Let's, uh, let's go back to our white page, upload a page and find out. It basically dims the page, the whole rest of the page. You can have an image or a text link. In this case, it creates a text link automatically. And when you click it, it dims the page and opens up your movie in a cool little animated box. You can have multiple movies on one page that they can jump through. Uh, we have another movie on Shadowbox, which is uh, really cool. Anyway, the manual explains all this stuff in detail. We're just taking the quick tour. But are we done? Not quite. There's one more feature that I want to show you, which is amazing. Because you're looking at some of these skins and, and some of these cool ways to present movies and thinking, I've already encoded and uploaded some movies, and I would like to kind of republish them or represent them with some of these new cool features. So, let's take a look at this green button. It's called Choose Remote Clip. So let's say we go to a place where we have a movie. We click Choose Remote Clip. And what we have now is the Remote Media Clip Browser. And this is where we can choose our remote clips. And in this browser, we can actually go to any movie and we can actually get a preview of it. So you can see exactly what it is, you know, this is a server thousands of miles away from where I am. And I can jump through here and I can look at movies uh, and browse them just like they're on my local hard drive. I mean, it's just amazing. 
So I'm just going to choose an iPhone movie here. I can either double click it in my list to add it or click add to list. I can also navigate around on the server, go up a folder. I can actually even make new folders and delete clips. So if you see something that, uh, you know, a big movie that you forgot to delete, you can just delete it from here. So it's just a very handy way to manage a remote site. But right now our, our main goal here is to choose a movie from our remote server uh, that we may have encoded and uploaded months ago. And we want to publish it again in, in one of these new kind of presentations. So I'm going to click done. And let's delete our the first movie we have in this list. Let's just go with this new movie. Now we go to the next step. Because this is an M4V, we don't have QuickTime because that's a lot of servers don't have M4Vs configured for a MIME type. So we have Shadowbox and Flash Player. Let's choose Flash Player. And now we can choose one of these skins and select it and upload the page. And that's how easy. I mean, it's like two clicks, hit enter a couple times, and there is the movie that we was already on our server. And we just hit play, it buffers. You can see that it's uh, buffering as it's playing. So it's just, just amazing. We've got a full screen button. So you can watch movies full screen. So that's the ability to republish a movie that you've already published. And if you change your mind, you've just got all these other options to choose from. Select, upload page, enter, enter. So I hope you've enjoyed this look at the new media publishing power of DV Kitchen 2.0 and uh, there is a 20-day trial so if you want to try this out on some of your own movies you've already published just head on over to the website and download the free trial it's a fully functional version of db kitchen yours to use for 20 days and thanks for watching